that's what it is. Hello and welcome to Catherine. This is a game by Atlas, which was released last year. And it actually came out on my birthday in Europe, some parts of Europe at least. This is a strange Japanese puzzle platformer slash dating sim thing. Um, which I am actually going to be playing through completely blind. I have played the tutorial just so I'm not going into it completely like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing, let's fall all over the place and die. This is being done alongside um, Oven Donkey on his channel. You, should pro you probably know where that is, but if not, there's a link to it on my channel. Blah, 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 blah. He is doing a weird Japanese game, so I'm going to do a weird Japanese game. We're going to do Catherine. Gonna start a new game. Now, this is a little bit of a, a a weird choice. Easy, normal, or hard. In the original Japanese release, there was only normal and hard. There was no easy mode. It was patched in later. Normal is actually usually described as way, way too hard for your first playthrough. Hard is considered by pretty much everyone to be pretty much impossible. There is a small, like, scene around this game about people who really like the gameplay and they say that they can get through hard with a bit of a struggle but for normal people hard is pretty much unbeatable so since we've never played before and normal is considered so hard that they needed to make a new easy version we're gonna go through on easy just so we can get through see what's going on and enjoy and enjoy, enjoy the strange tale of Catherine sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Did I mention that this game is Japanese? Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it. Were you even listening? Uh Sure. That's never the right answer to give to, have you been listening? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 
until the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. For they were getting jeans, so like a dream. Mazaru meets the no corner clean. This is an opening credit sequence with the names of the characters. These are not real people, these are the people we will be meeting in the game. It's a unique little twist, I like it. Gives it more of a feeling that we're actually watching the Golden Playhouse. Also, sheep. And the sheep. Remember, if you fall in a dream, you die in real life. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? Yes, also this game does have uh, foul language and some objectionable content. Anything that's too risque for YouTube, I'll be uh, censoring in post. But just as a fair warning, this game is rated M for a very good reason. See the basic, uh, the basic gameplay of the game is in these uh, in these dream puzzle sequences, where you have to push and pull blocks to make paths to reach as high as possible. If you go too slowly, you will die. And remember, dying in a dream kills you in real life. Again. You can also get bonus points by picking up the money, but sometimes the money is a little out of the way and can kill you if you try to pick it up. Yes, they will edge. The game actually says edge if you edge it. You may have heard it before. So gravity works slightly differently in the dream world of Catherine than it does in the real world. Quickly making stairs is the most important part of the game. And with a push, and a push, that's the tutorial. Really easy, but just meant to be a tutorial, the game ramps up in difficulty very quickly. Also, it's very, very creepy. So you want to get away from the giant hands. On a perfect climb of the underground cemetery. The golden prize for 17,310 male points. Is that kind of like the Japanese version of a man card? You're awarded male points? I don't know. <laughs> space tourism? I want to go on a space tour. Oh, what a terrible dream. You've got a really messy room, bro. You should clean up. Oh, 
Stop touching your bed, that's inappropriate. You're gonna get me flagged. <laughs> it looked like his computer was ringing. No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. I also wear oh, a pink no, shirt. It's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. <sighs> okay, did he put a shirt on and then go in and take a shower? I think this guy's got a... Got his his order mixed up. For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time, do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but. So you don't get anything. <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> okay, that's horrifying. This this lady is horrifying. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're Oh no, the in-laws. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm digging that idea. Easy and e easy and nice. Why make things hard on yourself? I like this guy. Oh my god, that w <laughs> that was a bit of a a drastic change. You know, our life is really good right now. Dead body. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause and in other news, I only have three frames of animation. Change it, the match is on! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? Oh, I really like that effect. The 3D backgrounds with the 2D characters and, like, props. That's really cool, I like that. wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. I'm the dashing rogue. Look at my cigarette. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What? What if you never meet your soul? That's harsh. Hey, yeah. You know how we've been dating for like anyway. Like like 2 years. About Paul. He's dead. I don't want to marry you. I hate you. Get out. Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard you Paul McCartney? I mean, I've heard the rumors, but I didn't think there was anything to it. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning. Whoa, crazy eyes there, buddy. Yeah, the mystery death on the news. That was him. Holy shit, 
No way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. <laughs> That's a good dinner conversation. Hey, maybe we'll all die tomorrow. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> Want another beer? You're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to bring that up in conversation. Oh yeah, well, in other news, I peed the bed this morning. How old are you? Thirty-two. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, right? And now you're trying to defend yourself peeing the bed? Come on, buddy. You just told them that you peed yourself! They don't want to see you anymore! They don't want to be seen with you! People in the other boots overheard you, and now they don't want to be seen with you! You just emptied out this whole place because you can't control your bladder. Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? Alright, take care, Vince. See you later. I'll walk in the same direction as you, but goodbye! Okay. Or is that just time passing? From your phone, you can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Three received messages. April 1st to all customers. Reply to messages. Dinner with old friends. Most of them are already married. Most of them have kids. They're all showing pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone? Um. Does it bother you? Oh, that's cool. I like the way the text messaging works. You press A and it types in something, and then if you press B, press A again, it changes what you've written. You're overthinking it. Sorry, can't think right now. Does it bother you? You're overthinking it. And it goes kind of a cycle. So now, what are we going to say to our girlfriend who wants to get married? Does it bother you? I worry about it too sometimes. We should work at our own pace. This is some kind of test. Uh, I like we should work at our own pace. I think we should take it easy. We don't need to be... I, I don't think we need to be pressured by everyone. Maybe we should talk about this. We don't need to be constantly comparing ourselves to others. We should talk... Maybe we should talk... Oh, there's only two of them? We don't need... To, that's what I think. But at the same time, I think we should value her input. Because if you're just like... <laughs> You think we should get married? Yeah, whatever. You're, you're dumb. I, I value her, her input. So even though I personally think that we shouldn't be comparing ourselves, I think maybe we should talk about this. Good night. Drive home safe, okay? Good night. Drive home safe, cause I care. I, I care about her. Good night sounds like yeah. Stop talking to me. I don't. I don't care about what you have to say. Leave me alone. But drive home safe. I want her to know that we are. Uh, that gave me blue, okay? Oh, and this is just telling us how the phone works. Alright. Well, that was Catherine. So, I'll see everyone tomorrow and we can see how, uh... How our angry girlfriend is, uh... Taking our... Taking our input on the whole marriage situation. And maybe we'll be doing some more block climbing as a half sheaf, half human in his boxers while being chased by a giant pair of arms holding a fork. I don't know. See ya tomorrow.